All right, guys, Greaves here. Um, review 12, all right, review 12. So let's take a look. All right, so situation, I have some two block system on a pulley, right, connected to a uh, spring, okay? Well, obviously you've read all this, right? So let's see, on the figure below, draw the free body diagram showing and labeling all the forces acting on the block when the system is in equilibrium. Okay, so let's take a look. How does this uh, block here look, right, the eight kilogram? All right, hopefully I have MG, I have FN, I have, let's call that the tension in the spring, and let's call that the force of the, uh, sorry, tension in the string, let's call that the force of the spring. Okay, here's the block that's hanging, all right, so obviously I'm gonna have MG, and I'm gonna have tension there. Okay, so that's A. All right, uh, B, calculate the tension in the string. So let's go to some paper, right? So calculate the tension in the string. Obviously everything is in equilibrium, right? So B, what do I have? F is equal to MA, right? Uh, so, right, so here's my, right, F, T, I should say, this is MG, right? Let's pick upwardly positive. So I have F net, right? So T minus MG equals MA. However, we know everything's in equilibrium, so this whole thing is zero. So bringing the MG to the other side, T is equal to MG. That gives me the mass, right? What did we say the mass of this guy was? Four kilograms times, I'm gonna do everything in 10, 10 meters per second squared. So that gives me, my pen here is running out. So that gives me about what? About, about 40 newtons. Okay, so there is uh, the tension in the spring. Uh, C, what does C want here? Let's take a look. Calculate the force constant in the spring. All right, so force constant. F is equal to Kx. Really, another another one really thing that they're looking for really is this. It's the spring constant, right? So what do I have here? I have 40, right? So the force, right, is going to be 40 newtons is equal to K, uh, X, right? Kx. And you're told, by the way, all right, so we got to do a little bit of math here, right? So what are we told? We're told that this unstretched is what? 0 0.20, right? And then it's stretched, it's 0.025, right? So the elongation of the spring is the difference between the two. And right? so that's gonna be 0 0.05 meters. Doing a little bit of division, we get 800 newtons per meter. Okay, obviously if you did uh, 9.8 up here, you could be a little bit different than mine, but nothing that's uh, significant. Okay, we see D, what does D want? All right, the string is now kind of P, calculate the distance, calculate the time that needs to hit the floor. So D, I'm cutting the string, right? So I wanna know how long it's gonna to take to get to the floor. D is equal to, all right, delta X is equal to V0T plus one and a half A T squared. We know that it starts from rest. We know that we're up uh, 0.7 meters, one half, uh, 10 meters per second squared, T squared. Doing a little bit of math, I got a time of about 0.38 seconds. Okay, next, what did it want? To calculate the frequency of oscillation. Okay, so that's E, right? Frequency of oscillation. All right, so if you look at your reference table as far as a spring mass system, right, they're gonna give you the period, right, which is two pi over what? Um, M. Okay, right? Okay, so I can't specifically solve for the frequency now, but I can solve for the period and then take the inverse of that. So two pi, um, eight over 800. I did this, I got point like six to six seconds. That's the period. So frequency is one over the period. So one over 0.626 is about 1.6 seconds. Okay, so that's that guy. What am I looking at next? A, B, C, D, E, F, right? So F. 
uh, F says calculate the maximum speed of the, the eight kilogram box, right? All right, so what am I gonna do here? I need, right, so this spring, once this spring's cut, this thing is gonna wiggle back and forth, right? All right, so when it's at that farthest point, 0.05, it has potential energy, all right? When it zips back to the equilibrium position, it's going the fastest, right? That all that potential energy is gonna be converted to kinetic energy. So that's gonna be one half K X squared, one half M V squared. That goes away, that goes away. So this is 800.05 squared, um, eight V squared. And I got something like 0.5 meters per second. So that is 12, one solved, about pretty, uh, pretty, uh, pretty easy going. No, 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 no surprise, okay? So that's that one, so that's 12, right? One, take a look at 12, two. All right, so 12, two, what do I have here? Okay, so I have, right, two masses, uh, A and B, connected by string, uh, um, I, um, spring, okay? Um, there right now is a four newton force point to the right. Okay, uh, let's see, block A, connect to it, eh? System is being pulled to the right across by a horizontal surface, so I put force on it, right? Okay, so there we go. And it experiences a constant acceleration. So, A, calculate the force that the spring exerts on uh, two kilogram mass. All right, there's probably more than one way to do this, but let's take the way that I kind of saw it, okay? Uh, so, let's take a look. What do I got here? All right. So, I really have, right, a two mass system. So, uh, how did, so here we go, right? So there's a spring, here's A, here's B. I have some force, right? So how did I tell you to kind of handle this, right? So we're gonna treat this as one object, right? So F is equal to MA. So it's gonna be four newtons is equal to, this was eight, this was two. So it's two plus eight A. So doing a little bit of math here, four divided by 10. So A is 0.4 meters per second squared. So that's the acceleration, right? Uh, but that's not really what I'm looking for. I'm looking for what the force that this spring is pulling on A. Okay, so um, how are we gonna do this? Well, the whole system, right? Uh, I think I could do it this way. Can I just take a look at this guy here? So let's just take a look at A, right? What's, right, I, have, I wanna know what this force is. All right, so what's the mass of this guy? to kilograms, and I know the acceleration, don't I? 0.4 meters per second squared, okay? So F is equal to MA. So what do I have? Um, uh, two kilograms times what? 0.4 meters per second squared. Lo and behold, I get 0.8 newtons. So that's the force, right, being pulled, right, uh, on A, okay? So that's that guy. So what did B say, right? So this is A, what does B want? Uh, calculate the extension of the spring. Okay, so how? what is my extension of the spring? Okay, so F is equal to what? Kx, right? So what's the force on the spring? 0.8 newtons is equal to, and you're told that it's an 80 newton per meter spring constant, right, X. So doing a little bit of division here, I get 0.01 meters, right? All right, so that's that business, that's A and B. All right, so now they're gonna play some games with us, let's see. All right, so same exact system, but I'm not pulling it to the right, I'm gonna pull it to the left. So if I pull to the left with the four newtons, is the magnitude of the acceleration greater than the same, uh, greater, less than on the scene? Okay, so, I'm gonna say that it's gonna be the same. Why is it the same? Brief explanation, why is it the same? Because it's the same force pulling what? The same exact mass, right? So in this particular case up here, I had what, 4.10? This guy over here, I had also 4.10.
All right? So, brief reason, same force pulling the same mass, going to give me the same acceleration. All right, so D, hmm, I like this one, All right? Is the amount the spring, is the amount of spring and stretch greater than, less than, or same as before? All right, so I, I think the temptation is here to say the same, isn't it? Hmm. But let's take a look. Okay, let's take a look. All right, so let's take a look at what's going on here. All right, so this is going to be D, right? We did C before. So let's see what happens here. Here's A. Here's B. And I'm pulling this way, right? So what happens now? Well, just like before, I'm going to get an acceleration of 0.4 meters per second squared. Okay? All right. If that's the case, right, well, let's take a look at the force now, right, that's going to be pulled, right, on A, right? So if I'm just looking at A, here's A again, right? What am I pulling here? This is going to be equal to what? Um, four newtons, right? Which means I can find out what this guy is right here, can I? All right, let's take a look. This accelerate, this mass here is going to be what? Two kilograms. And my, no, my acceleration is again 0.4. So what do I have here? Well, let's say it's going this way. So four minus F is equal to what? Uh, two times 0.4, all right? So four minus F is equal to 0.8. So minus four minus four F is equal to what? 3.2. Hmm, now look at this. The force on the spring is 3.2. So F is equal to Kx. So 3.2 is going to be equal to, well, what did we say this was? 80, right? Did we say this was 80, right? X. So, right, 3.2 divided by 80. Right, 0.04. All right, so X in this particular case is 0.04. So what just happened? I got a bigger elongation, okay? Bigger force, bigger elongation. So the answer here, right, is greater. Why? Because F is bigger, right? So if the force is bigger, right, in the spring that is, right, then the elongation must be bigger, right? Okay, so that's the answer to D. Uh, and I think, what is E? In a new situation, the block and the spring are moving together at a constant speed of five meters per second, right? Uh, to the left, the block A hits the wall and sticks. Calculate the maximum compression of the spring. So this particular guy says, this guy is zooming this way. It hits a wall, but then again, B is gonna continue, right? So what's the maximum compression of the spring? So that is gonna be, right, E, right? So it looks like, again, I have this U is equal to K situation. So one half K X squared one half m v squared that goes away that goes away what was my spring constant again here right 80 x squared uh eight five squared and i did this already right so it looks like you're going to get something like 1.6 meters okay so that is review 12 solved and um, i didn't think that was too bad obviously i think the only one that they're going to you know really kind of test your real knowledge my personal opinion is uh 12d right and so there you go all right guys see you